For our lead issue this week, the new train program of the Department of Finance has not been fully comprehended by many. Because of this, the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or PCCI, has started to hold a series of information campaign on Package 2 of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program. They are undertaking this with the support of USAID's Facilitating Public Investments Project. Our business reporter Heidi Santos has the story. Package 2 of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program, or CTRP, of the DOF covers corporate income tax and rationalization of the fiscal incentives. These are included in the Roadshow Project of the PCTI, which is also part of the Open Government and Participatory Governance Regional Dialogues initiated by the Budget and Management and DILG. This information campaign was lauded by PCCI President Alegria Limpoco. For his part, Ed Laxon, PCCI's Director for Taxation, voiced his opinion that lowering corporate income tax is the next best thing after lowering personal income taxes. Our BizWatch correspondent has more of the story. PCCI's Ed Laxon pointed out that the Philippines has the highest corporate income tax rate in the ASEAN region. He added that if we are to be competitive in the region, corporate income tax has to be reduced to make the country attractive for foreign direct investments. Another issue on Package 2 of the CTRP involves fiscal incentives. Attorney Benedicta Du Baladad of PCCI's Taxation Committee commented that it is high time that the DOF rationalizes the tax incentives granted to remove the redundancies and make these incentives more accountable. The other dates of the tax caravan of PCCI are Cebu City, February 16, Zamboanga City, February 21, Makati City, February 28, Baguio City, March 7, and Tacloban City, March 23. DOF officials led by Yusek Carl Chua and Assistant Secretary Teresita Habitan, along with Attorney Baladad and Ms. Tomasa Lipana of the PCCI Tax Committee, will comprise the panel of speakers. The Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, or TRAIN, which was signed into law before the end of 2017, is now in full implementation. The efforts of government as well as the private sector led by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry to enlighten the public on the relevant points of train are certainly much appreciated. 